welcome back to my channel keto with sammy for today's video we're making an awesome dinner for the whole family today we're going to be making some keto taco meatloaf so let's get straight to the video all right guys so for today's ingredients you're going to want some ground beef you don't need the whole row you can use a pound or two you're going to want some mexican style blend cheese one onion diced one can of rotel some pepper, some salt. This is just for garnishing. These are freeze-dried chives if you want to add extra flavor. One egg, some taco seasoning, some garlic powder, heavy cream. And these are for binding our meatloaf. You're going to want one low-carb tortilla and some pork rinds in the spicy flavor if you'd like. Okay, so now you just want a mixing bowl. We're gonna start mixing our ground beef with all our seasoning. So you want a pound of ground beef. Now, if you are making more, you can just add more for your family if you have a bigger family and just double the um, ingredients. So just get your ground beef. We're gonna add in our diced onion. One tablespoon of our taco seasoning. Now I took one low carb tortilla and I just diced it like this and we're going to add this in here and this is going to help with binding with the meat so it don't separate. I took about half a cup of chicharrones in a bag and you just crush them with your hands like this and this helps with binding as well. One can of Rotel and you do want to drain off the juice so your meat does not get soggy. one large egg two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream some pepper for flavor Some salt for flavor as well. You can add as much salt as you like for your taste. And our last ingredient, we're going to add one tablespoon of garlic powder. And then just take your fingers and we're going to mix it all together until it's well combined. In this recipe, you can just easily put a veggie side and you can top this with any taco toppings that you want. If you're somebody that likes bell peppers, go ahead and add bell peppers to this. You can add block olives, any taco toppings that you want in here, go ahead and add. All right, once you have it well mixed like this, we're gonna take our loaf pan this is the size I'm gonna use, and we're just gonna push this in here. You don't have to spray it down with non-stick spray because a lot of the juice, the meat, will help it not stick. it on down like this now I'm gonna wash my hands and then we're gonna get a foil a piece of foil to cover it and we're gonna pop this in the oven don't top it with cheese yet because midway we are going to top it so get your foil make sure you cover your meatloaf and we're baking this at 375 degrees and you're gonna bake this for 50 minutes and then after that, we're going to top it with cheese. Okay, so after it's done baking for 50 minutes, we're gonna take it out our oven. And now we're going to top it with cheese. You can just leave your foil off now. You just cover it with cheese on top. And make sure you leave your oven on because we're about to pop this back in here. And now we're gonna pop it back in our oven for 10 minutes uncovered until the cheese is nice and melted. Okay, so after your cheese is nice and melted, we're gonna put 
pull it out of the oven. And then all you're going to do is top it with some dried chives if you like. And you do want to let this cool down before you cut into it. Alright, so this is what our taco meatloaf looks like once you cut into it. Just serve it up with a side of vegetables and enjoy. Alright guys, so that concludes today's video of our keto taco meatloaf. Right before we go, if y'all enjoy my videos, if my videos and recipes have helped y'all along y'all's journey, please give them a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Share with all your family and friends. It really means a lot to me and I'll see y'all in my next video.